Hi friends, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to create this very beautiful quilling orchid flower bunch with the pot. Isn't it very beautiful? And you can decorate your drawing room or bedroom using these lovely flowers. So let's get started. For this we need some 2 mm quilling strips, floral wire, quilling mold, any air dry clay I am using M seal, floral tape, some wired pollens, pink color artistry ink and finger dauber. Quilling tool, any wooden stick, scissor, liquid glue and some 5 mm quilling strips. First I am starting with making the petals. For this I am taking 4 strips of light purple color and making one tight coil. For all the flowers I am using 2 mm strips but you can also use 3 mm strips. So tight coil is ready. Now I am making one more tight coil using 3 strips of purple color. Now take your quilling mold and make a little dome shape, not very deep and pinch from both the sides and make a leaf shape. Add glue inside both the petals. So we need two large and three small petals. Now I am starting with these loop petals. So we need two yellow and two dark purple. So I will show you one dark purple. Just take one strip, make a loop and now next make a little increased size loop in the same way I am making two more loops in little increased size each time. So in total I have created four loops, cut excess strip and secure all the loops using liquid glue. So the petal is ready. Now I am starting with small teardrop. For this I am taking half strip of yellow color and making one tight teardrop shape. So we need two tight teardrops. Now for these small patterns I am taking one fourth strip of dark purple and making one tight teardrop again. So we need two purple and one yellow tight teardrop. And for this bended teardrop I am taking one fourth strip of off white color and making one bended teardrop shape. like this so we need two this type of shapes for the next shape I am taking half strip of off white color and making one tight teardrop again and for the last shape I am using one and half strip of yellow and making one tight teardrop So all these shapes are required to create one flower. Here I am taking fancy fuchsia artistry ink. You can also use distress ink and I am just distressing the edge of petal using my sponge dauber or finger dauber. 
you can skip this step but i thought little shading will look more nice So the distressing is done now I will assemble the flower so just follow the instructions First I am connecting three small petals and then I will arrange other shapes the beautiful orchid flower is ready now to create sepal i am taking half strip of sap green color here i am using 5 mm strip and making one cone shape now insert one wire pollen through this add glue inside the cone and just connect the stem with the flower in the same way we need total 6 orchid flowers for the bunch you can add as many flowers as you want now i will show you how to create these small flowers for this I am taking two strips of light purple and making one tight dome leaf shape. Again, I'm distressing the edge using pink color. Now I'm taking two strips of sap green color and making one dome shape. Now. Again insert one wire pollen through this add glue inside this dome and connect all three petals one by one Now for the center of the flower I am taking one strip of yellow color and making one dome shape Now connect this dome in the center part of the flower the small flower is ready and it will look like this after drying now i will show you how to create this bud for this i have created one tight coil 
using one strip of sap green color again i am making one cone and tapping from the bottom insert one wired pole and add little glue and this side coil is made using one strip of light purple i am making one dome just adding little distress ink add glue and connect with the sepal so the bud is ready now to create pot i am taking 6 white 10 blue 6 white 15 blue and 6 white strips again i have joined all these strips with each other and making one big tight coil so we have reached it till the end add little glue and secure it now i'm just making a dome using my fingers do it very slowly and very carefully otherwise your tight coil will get opened add little glue inside this and allow it to dry now i'm taking my glue bottle the diameter is 3.5 cm and i'm making one ring around this and i have joined total 6 white 10 blue 6 white and 15 blue colored strips and i'm making one large ring So I am just securing the end. So ring is ready. Remember the diameter of ring and the base should be same. So I will tell you the diameter. It is seven centimeters. Now I am opening the ring and making a dome. Now add glue inside both, and I will connect like this. So added the glue. Now I will connect. the ring with the base dome like this let it dry for some time now i am taking one wooden stick for the base of our bunch i am wrapping one green floral tape around this now i will start adding the flowers one by one and i will wrap the green floral tape around this now i am taking this floral wire and connecting with the stem here i am adding the wire so that we can bend our bunch little bit towards any direction so that it will look natural So this is done now I am adding the last flower in the bottom to adhere this quickly I am using my instant adhesive but you can also use fevicol Now 
I am making the bunch of buds and small flowers. Now I will connect this bunch with our flower bouquet. So after adding all the flowers, buds and small flowers, our bunch is ready. Isn't it beautiful? Now I will show you how to create these leaves. For this I am taking 4 strips of sap green color and making some loops in increasing order. Here I am making total 10 loops in increasing order. Now I am making two loops in little decreasing order on both the sides. Again make two more loops and then make last two loops. Then wrap this whole petal using remaining strip and secure the end. So leaf is ready, so we need total 4 leaves. Now our pot is completely dried and I am taking here air dry clay. I have just mixed the resin and hardener. For this I have used M seal, you can also use shilkar clay. Now I am adding little glue in the base and connecting this dough in the center so that we can easily tuck our stem. I have also wrapped little clay around the bottom part of the stem. Now I am just tucking it like this. Now to give the pot little weight, I am filling this using some white sand or rangoli. You can also use small size pebbles or stones to fill this. Because it is very important to give this pot little weight. Otherwise, it will not stand. Now, let it allow to dry. So, it's dry. Now, I am just connecting all the leaves in the bottom. So the beautiful orchid flower bunch is ready. Isn't it very pretty and beautiful idea to gift anyone? My project is done for today. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos. And please click on bell icon for the latest updates. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.